What's up, y'all? My name's Thomas. I go by Wrecker. I'm from Arizona. I'm also an owner operator. I own the Kenworth W900L as well. And Josh, it's been a long time coming, brother. Welcome to the Kenworth Gang. And everybody else, welcome to Trucker Josh Vlogs on YouTube. Good morning everybody, we're here. Good morning traffic, good morning bus, good morning go-kart. I saw a Porsche on the way in today, it was very nice. We're at the fertility clinic in Winnipeg. Britt had an appointment, this is the appointment that I had to rush home for. Uh, it's called an ERA, I'll let her talk about it when she gets back. I'm not too sure what it is exactly. Apparently it, it can be a little painful. So I wanted to be here today with her and for tomorrow to make sure she's all right. She's upstairs right now. What I do know is that this procedure will tell us exactly when the transfer needs to happen. Uh, for those of you that are new to the channel, my wife and I uh, were in the middle of IVF. Uh, so not just a trucker, We've got other things going on in the background too, got some other family stuff going on. And this procedure is supposed to help us know when the transfer uh, takes place. We have two eggs that are frozen right now, or two eggs, they're not eggs, they're two uh, blastocysts that are ready to be implanted. Uh, we're hoping that the first one, the first try will be next month. So Old Blue is all ready to go. She's all deckled up. You saw it yesterday, right? We're uh, available to leave tomorrow afternoon, evening. Uh, it'll be Thursday. I'm not too sure if they'll have something for me. Because if they do have something for me on Thursday, it'll be something that I'd have to deliver Friday. And then they'd have to find a reload for me Friday yet to get me back. I have a feeling that it might turn out that I'll have a, a load that I'll have to deliver somewhere on Monday, which means I'd have to leave Saturday, Sunday. When you have an appointment in the middle of the week like this, it sort of throws off the whole rhythm and we haven't even really gotten into our rhythm yet because we just started on regional. So I'm still trying to figure out my rhythm, I'm trying to get it to a point where I can, you know, hopefully leave Monday morning, work throughout the weekend, sort of be back on the weekend. But with this uh, appointment, it throws it off a little bit. I might have to work through the weekend, but that's okay. On regional, uh, I'm not too sure where I'll all be going, but I, I can tell you what I'm comfortable with doing, uh, what I'd like to do. I mean, it doesn't mean that what I want, I get all the time. That's not how it works. So when I say the word regional, what I mean is probably about a thousand mile radius of home base. It's about a day and a half in any direction or so that's that's what i think of now i don't always get to choose where my boundaries are or how far i'll go that's not always up to me i go where the loads go i follow the money wherever the big money is you'll find me i like that money thing it's uh it's very helpful in life i own my own truck now uh on percentage in regional division at keystone so a lot of people have asked me like what is regional regional to me might be different than regional to a european because we have a very big country. So here it would include all of the prairies, Manitoba, Saskatchewan, Alberta, maybe some of Ontario, like up to Thunder Bay, down into the US, including what's within a thousand miles, like North Dakota, South Dakota, maybe Nebraska, uh, Montana, Minnesota, Wisconsin, maybe into Illinois a little bit. Uh, what else is around there? Iowa, did I say Iowa? What's, what's beside? Uh, South Dakota. Is that Wyoming? The general center of the continent area. I mean, I, I'm i still, I just bought my truck. I'm just getting going here. We don't have a rhythm set yet. I'm not sure where they're going to send me. That's what I'm assuming in my head when they say regional. That's what, I'm, that's what I'm assuming. But you know, the odd trip may take me further and they may ask me like, hey Josh, we have this like, we have this real sweet gravy load. It's got a lot of cha-ching attached to it and it's going down to Tennessee, or it's going down to Georgia, or Florida, or whatever. It's like, do you want it? And then I'd have to, you know, talk to, to Britt and say, well, do we have anything planned for the next week? And if we don't have any plans, I can get back to them and say, yeah, you know what? It'll work for me to take that and go down there uh, and take it back. But uh, I don't think I'll be going down to Florida very often. But again, I don't know. I don't know. We'll find out. We'll find out. You never know. I go where the loads go. I don't know what the future holds yet, but I am going to be trying to stay, uh, I'm going to try to stay, you know, within a reasonable distance from home so that I can, I can be here when my wife needs me and when my family needs me at home because we're going through a very uh, uh, in-depth process right now with this whole IVF journey and I need to be, 
I need to be around for that. So while my wife is upstairs in the clinic getting this procedure done, I have to wait down here in the husband's section, also known as the parking lot. Uh, they, they still don't allow us to go up with them. And really, honestly, what would I do up there? I would like to be in the room with her while this is going on, but I would just be in the way. I would be. And I'm right here. I'm down downstairs in the parking lot. Would I prefer to be there in the room with her? Of course. But uh, you know the world's a different place right now. For the most part, like uh, the provincial restrictions in Manitoba, they're all gone. All gone. Like it's back to life as normal, except for these few cases at doctor's offices and you know dentist offices and uh, a few select places where uh, they still have reasonably uh, tight restrictions and it sort of makes sense you know it's just there's a lot of pregnant women that go up there and women who are trying to get pregnant and the amount of germs we can limit up there is always you want you want it to be as clean as possible so the fewer people that go up there the better even without this past pandemic that we just had the fewer amount of people that go up there the better you just you don't want anything or any germs up there that you don't need right and let's be honest we're all packed full of germs all of us. I, I can understand. Maybe this is what they should have done all along, but what do I know? I'm not a scientist. There's been a change of plans. We're skipping ahead to a little later. The appointment was not the appointment we thought it was. It was just an ultrasound. So I'm glad I got to be there for that, but I don't need to stick around to make sure she's okay after an ultrasound. So we hopped in Old Blue, and I gotta book it to Kenora to pick up a load today yet, and then get down to Minnesota for tomorrow. Uh, it's a rush load. I was really hoping to kind of make the first debut of Old Blue a little bit more special than this, but I just don't have time to film a, but a, a bunch. It is what it is. We're hooked up to our first trailer right now. We get, we'll have a lot of trips in the future with Old Blue to make special. I got a rush. We're hooked up to a trailer. We're gonna go load some lumber on it, and we're gonna go back down to or down to Minnesota, grab some cement, and bring it back up here. We're picking up a load, something like that over there. You'll see in a second what I mean. Just hooked up my first trailer. See what I mean? We got the rockers on the front. And there she is. All hooked up. And we're off. Okay, car, you're gonna have to speed up. I need to get in there. There you go. Lots of construction. So I really wasn't expecting on leaving today. So everything feels very rushed. Like I was saying in the last clip there, I was really hoping to make, you know, the first trip out really spectacular on the vlog, but you know what, we'll save that for another trip. I had to get going. I'm I'm like running down to the line here. I gotta be there. They stop loading at four o'clock. That's two hours away. And it's uh, <laughs> 1.30 right now. So I'm literally, I'm gonna show up there between three and 3.30. And hopefully I'll be able to get loaded. Otherwise that's gonna put back the whole trip. So it was a bit of a hot load or rush day. Empty right now, but it's lumber that I'm picking up. I bring that down to Brainerd, Minnesota. And then I go and pick up a big piece of concrete. And bring it on back up here. Want to listen to this turbo though? It's beautiful. Never get old. This thing runs so incredibly smooth. Wow, this is the best ride I've had in a truck in a long time. So we've been here once before already. This is the place where they have the machine lifts the tarps up over the load. It's the first load on Old Blue. I'm gonna grab that.
now that I'm the only one in here, I can talk to you guys a little more loudly. So this machine takes the tarps, as you saw, and they lift it over. I sort of missed the mark here. I can pull it forward from the ground though. Got it pulled over here. That way you don't have to get on top of the load. You're not allowed to get on top of your load here. You get in big troubles. Even Trucker Josh can't get away with that. Get these things out of our way. Push a button here and up they go. Make sure it doesn't hook you on the way up. I'll drag you all the way up there. Pretty neat system though, eh? Works pretty nice. Bring those all the way back. Up out of the way like that. And then you just leave this off on the side here somewhere. People will find it. I'm just gonna put it right here. I'm done with it. Oh, that thing sounds amazing too. Just like from where I got loaded, putzing over here and into here, just the sound of the rumble. Oh, that truck was a good decision. That was a good life choice. Pull this this way. Come on. Come here. There you go. I see you want the corner of the flap to be right at the edge there. I'll go around to the other side. I thought I heard someone knocking over there diesels inside here he's got the fan on one of the reasons I wanted the sleeper windows was because uh, that way diesel can lay on the bed and look out the window as we're driving he loves doing that here we go okay right up to the corner there like that oh it's got to come over this way a bit there we go about like that and pull it back a little bit and we just even it out. Oh, it must be caught on something on the other side. And then you just roll this up underneath here like this. And you tarp it in. I gotta finish the back here yet. I'm just getting them all on right now and then I can just go to town with the bungees. What's going on over here? Why aren't you pulling over? There we go. It's looking good, eh? Perfect. I think that'll be a good looking unit going down the road. What do you think? You go old blue, all the way back. Mint. Mint. Okay, we gotta stop staring at it. It looks beautiful, but I gotta get some work done here. I'm gonna leave you guys in the truck for a bit, okay? time for you to judge me on how well I tarp my load. Give me your best shot. What do you think? The first time I've, I'm walking around looking at it, so hopefully I didn't miss anything. Because that'd be embarrassing. Alright, alright. So all the way back here, we used three tarps. Started at the back, worked our way forward. That way the wind blows over and not under. Otherwise you got big balloons behind you. Nobody wants to haul balloons. All right, there we go. Nice and neat, nice and straight for the most part. Wrapped up like a little Christmas present. There you go. Old Blue's first load. Let's take it to Brainerd, Minnesota. America. All right, Diesel, you ready to go to Minnesota? Start her up. Get her all charged over there here. Get myself comfortable, get out of this vest because I don't have to wear this all day anymore. It's kind of nice. Here she goes. Oh, yes. Wonderful. That's how you know it's me. I like those a little too much. That's 
the way a truck is supposed to sound. I think. <laughs> wow. It's the first load I've pulled of that. And I was just up a tiny little hill there. So we're on our way towards International Falls, Minnesota, or Fort Francis, Ontario, to cross the border into the USA. Some people have asked if uh, this high shifter is annoying. It's actually much more comfortable than having it down here. I like it here. Feels good. I gotta get a little new piece for in here. You'll know it's me when I come through your town. I'll try not to be obnoxious about it. I like it. Definitely official. What do you think, Diesel? Very noisy, man. It's a noisy one. I know, but it's a good noisy, right? Hey, I don't know. It's just noisy. What if I close the windows? Is that better? Why is it feel better? That's nice. You still hear it then, eh? That's nice. That is very nice. Yep. Happy trucker right here. Right here. That is beautiful. And we get some nice scenery to go through right away. Look at this. Is that a mosquito I saw over there? I thought I was I thought I saw a mosquito on the window. Maybe I was just seeing things. This is trucking. Check it out. I fixed the lights. I ordered them on Amazon and it worked. It's perfect. Yeah. Not the brightest, but as soon as I turn these on, the blue lights come on as well. So those will always be on. And I've got red lights up here too. But I can turn the uh, sleeper lights off and just leave the blue lights on. I'll just. Kind of cool, right? Eh? The red lights up there as well. How do I show you this? <laughs> that gives it a nice glue, uh, blue glow in here. I like it. <laughs> We're about to cross into the U.S. right now. Uh, cross from International Falls, no, from Fort Francis, Ontario, Canada, into International Falls, Minnesota. Uh, USA. I haven't crossed here in a long time and this is my first time in this truck. So they're probably going to have extra questions for me. So I've got to go, got to make sure all my ducks are in a row and make sure all my paperwork is lined up and I have everything ready for them so that I don't have any like deer in the headlight moments.
and I'm back home. I just put this together for you guys here and I know I've been running a little bit behind. I told you this might happen, but that's okay. I'm gonna catch up and either today or tomorrow or the next day you're gonna get a dump of a few vlogs in one day again. So I hope you guys have got nothing better to do than to watch Trucker Josh vlogs. I hope you're really bored because I've got a bunch of vlogs coming for you. I'm trying to catch up here. I'm uh, filming this last clip here on Sunday. Uh, so it is uh, I'm a little behind. <laughs> Thanks for watching today though, I really appreciate it. I was kind of, I was really hoping that the first Maiden Voyage, No Blue, I could make like super special and I could take my time and, but reality is trucking is a rush, rush sport, right? Rush, 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 and especially this trip, I had to get to Kenora to get loaded by a certain time. I just barely made it and I had to rush down to Minnesota and rush back because I wanted to get home. I was hoping to have more time but uh, there will be so many more memories to be made in, in Old Blue as time goes on. And, you know, I'll do like feature films and feature stuff on just the truck and certain trips. I'll make, I'll make it more special in the future. But today was, uh, it was a special day for me anyways in this vlog. The first day out. Had a lot of fun. So thanks for hanging out with me all the way till now to the end of the video. Give that thumbs up if you like me. Give a thumbs up if you like the truck. Give a thumbs up if you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe. And uh, we'll see you in our next video either uh, later today or tomorrow. We've got a couple coming down the pike here for you.